Likewise, we can use this object found in the visualizations. And we can place this, rather than as a floor plan, we can place this as an elevation. Showing the side view of a tree. And we have other settings of how we want to view this. With a lot of inbuilt options. Let's take the settings uh, color out. If we just want to create something that's um, black and white or a line drawing instead of a a picture. Now the advantage of using a line drawing is that it's creating a vector file instead of a an image based file which is probably preferable for what we're doing at the moment. Now if I want to add a bit of color or life to this as a vector we can do this using the fill tool. If I go into my fill, fill settings under gradient tools this is probably the best one for creating a sky. Again we try to keep to vectors as much as we can in ArchiCAD, otherwise we're going to create larger file types or sizes. I'm going to use the linear gradient, gradient fill and I'm going to choose two different blues. I'm going to choose a very light blue and a much darker blue to create a sky. Now when I create a fill in ArchiCAD, it's a little bit different to, for instance, creating this in Photoshop. First I draw the shape. So I'm going to draw a box to describe the fill. We see that it's going to uh, bring it to the front. If I right click display order center back, that's going to send that behind all of my 3D objects. So that's a, a very good way of working using layers or using order rather than having to um, cut out around the tree and cut around the house. Now of course this gradient field looks wrong, but that's okay. I'm now going to use this little X and the line that's here to move my starting point and my end point for my gradient fill. So this allows me now to, and I'll reduce this just to the um, to the extent, and I'll turn off the outline just so that looks a bit more normal. And so this could be a way of starting to dress our elevations. Now in this case we're using um, only black and white for our elevations, but we could change this so that our elevations were colored in the settings. Let's do that now in the north elevations, elevation settings. Let's go to model display. I want my uncut elements. Instead of being uniform pen color, I want to be own surface colors shaded. Now that's going to add some color to my model. Now of course that color will be dependent on the materiality of my model. So if I change the materiality of my model, let's make this something a bit brighter. Of course that's going to represent in our elevation as well. Now we're limited, I guess, to what ArchiCAD has in its library. So we could copy this. And we can find other elements. People contour, for instance, might work well. If we're trying to, again, create uh, two-dimensional elements. And of course I could take the, the black off so it was just um, the outlines rather than the, the black symbol. So we could change that to uh, say white. Change that to empty fill. Yeah. 
So there, there is a few objects that we can use in here. Of course, we could take this into Photoshop to do real creative visualization. Uh, but again, keeping it as a vector file, ARCHICAD gives us some options.